superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found the lessons that will be covered during this week. On Sunday, we will learn to spell short E sound words. On Monday, we will learn about the consonants D, L, and H. And we will learn about the short E words. On Tuesday, we will continue learning and reading the story, look both ways. On Wednesday, we will learn about the English articles and we will learn about the adjectives. On Thursday, we will learn about full stops. On Sunday, we will learn to spell short E words. And the words for this week are set, met, pet, net, get, and ten. Again, what's the sound of short E? It's E. Now, let's learn to use the spelling words and put them into sentences. I set the table for lunch. We met for lunch. Don't get angry. I read 10 books. He has many pets, including a parrot. I hit the ball into the net. In phonics, we'll be learning about consonants D, L, and H, and we will continue learning about the short E words. The sound of short E is E, as in pen, hen, men, then and then. Now, if we ask you, what's the middle sound for the word vet? The, the middle sound is eh, eh. Let's move to letter L. The sound of L is L, as in lamp, ladder, Lion, leaf, and log. Consonant D, the sound of D is D. D. So let's identify the initial or the beginning sound of these words. Dinosaur. It's the D sound. The beginning sound is the D sound. D as in D, duck. If I say dog, the beginning sound or the initial sound is the D sound. The sound of H is H, H as in hat, house, hair, hose, and horse. This week, we'll be reading a new informational story or text titled, Look Both Ways. Informational text tells facts about real people, things, or events. Informational text often use text features such as headings to help readers find information. Now, while reading the story, let's think of the following questions. What do you call the part of the street where lines show that this is the place to cross? Who helps you cross the street while coming to school? What are two directions you remember when you walk across the street? When we 
say look both ways when crossing the street, we mean that one should look to the left and then to the right. This is a safety precaution or advice to ensure that you are safe when you cross the street. Now we will learn about the English articles which are a and and the. When we talk about things, sometimes we use little words like a and and the. These words are called articles. They help us talk about things in a clear way. When we say, I saw a cat, it could be any cat, not a special cat. If I say, I ate an apple, it could be any apple, but not a special apple. We use an before words that start with a vowel sound like, a apple, a elephant, or ice cream. We use a before words that start with a consonant like cat, dog, or ball. Now the article the, we use it when we talk about a special thing like I saw the cat. Now we are talking about a special cat we both know. I ate the apple. The special apple we talked about. So again, a ah is used with nouns starting with consonant sounds. And is used with nouns starting with a vowel sound. The is used for specific noun or particular things. Adjectives are words that describe nouns or we call them describing words. We have adjectives for colors like red, blue, yellow, green, so red is an adjective, like she's wearing a red hat. So red is an adjective. We have adjectives for shapes, like round or square. And we have adjectives for sounds, like loud or quiet. We have adjectives for feelings like happy or sad. We have adjectives for sizes. I say it's a big boat. So big is an adjective or a small ant. Small is an adjective. We have adjectives for feelings. Happy or sad. So again, adjectives are describing words that describe the nouns. A full stop comes at the end of a declarative sentence. And sometimes people call it a period. What does it do? When you see a full stop at the end of words, it's like a stop sign for your voice. It tells you that the sentence is finished, so you can take a little breath before starting the next one.